Hey guys, Taylor here, and today I'm back with another new video, and in this one, I won't be covering one game, I'm going to be covering a couple of games with a couple of crossovers within them. Over the past couple of days, I was given the task to go off, find some games, and find some pretty crazy mods along with them. Now these range from fighting a huge Thomas the Tank Engine, all the way to the other end of the spectrum and decking Sekiro out in some new Cyberpunk 2077 robes. But anyway, before I spoil the rest of the video, let's jump jump straight into it and let's start at Fallout 4. Now we all know how much the Fallout series has been modded, all the way from small UI tweaks to massive graphics overhaul mods. But today I managed to turn Fallout 4 into an anime crossover. Good morning, vault -Tec calling. Good morning. Isn't it? What's so important? Why nothing less than your entire future? Now this mod is relatively new and I'm relatively new actually to the Fallout or Bethesda modding community. So I had a lot of trouble trying to figure this one out but when I did figure it out, I've got to admit, it looked pretty cool. Now at the moment this only works for the female characters in Fallout 4 and I believe it also works for NPCs, female NPCs in the game. Now there's a lot of depth to this mod and you can add hundreds and hundreds of hairstyles, hair colours, tweaks, all sorts. As you can see the gameplay on your screen is simply the opening scene of Fallout 4. And one thing you'll be able to notice with this mod is that there's a lot of facial expressions within it, which I was actually shocked to see because I didn't think that would be in such a new mod. So yeah, as well as all of the options you can add, it's got some pretty detailed facial expressions and some other cool bits to it. But anyway, that's the first one and that was a Fallout 4 anime crossover and of course the link to that mod can be found in the description as well as all of the others that i'm going to talk about today now the next one some of you probably would have already seen this and i certainly don't blame you it's pretty hard to miss but this is thomas the tank engine in monster hunter world Now, I couldn't actually focus on bringing down the Thomas the Tank Engine because it was just too funny and it kept on catching me off guard as soon as it charged at me. The skin actually replaces Nergigante and like I said, when it charges at you, it's definitely something to behold. You could even go one step further and replace the original sound effect for the Nergigante to the Thomas the Tank Engine theme tune. but I couldn't actually get it to work. However, I have seen videos of people that have managed to get the theme tune as well as the Thomas the Tank Engine charging around, and it's definitely, definitely something funny to see. Now, of course, if you are after immersion, this is gonna be one of those things that completely breaks that immersion. Now, I had a bunch of fun with this mod, and I'm definitely gonna jump straight back in and try and take down Thomas the Tank for myself. Now if you've been watching a lot of the videos that I've done on this channel that aren't The Division 2, then you'll know I'm a big fan of the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077. So when I found out you could change Sekiro into a Cyberpunk robe, I made sure I did it straight away. A new set of robes, fresh from the Cyberpunk wardrobe, I managed to get Sekiro looking even more Cyberpunk then cyberpunk was possible? Anyway, this mod actually changes the sword as well as his prosthetic arm. To be fair, it pretty much changes every asset that you can see for Sekiro. Now, does it fit in? Absolutely not, but does it look cool? I would say so. And surprisingly, this mod was really easy to install. And if you're wondering if there's anything else other than Cyberpunk 2077, well, there is. That's a whole bunch of different outfits for Sekiro, and some of them look really, really cool. A really cool mod that I definitely enjoyed checking out. Moving on from 16th century Japan, we're now going to jump ahead and jump straight into Jump Force. 
We're actually showcasing two mods for Jump Force, the first one being a pretty iconic Marvel character, and that being Thanos. Now unfortunately, this mod doesn't allow you to snap your fingers and completely destroy everyone, but visually, it's stunning. As stunning as Thanos can be, I guess. Thanos will replace Togara in Jump Force. Unfortunately, there's no edited moveset, it is just a skin, but it's definitely fun to play around with, and until we get a fully fledged Avengers game, I guess this one is going to have to be our end game for now. Last but not least, again like I said, it's another Jump Force mod and this one is one you've probably seen a lot about and this is Jump Force featuring Master Chief from Halo. And this mod is actually more than just a skin. <laughs> Some of the moves actually make use of the gun, as well as a rocket launcher that fires two rockets at the character you're currently fighting. Now whilst I was playing with this Halo mod, it felt like I wasn't even playing with a mod, it was that good. The animations, especially the Warthog, it was definitely something that took me by surprise. But anyway guys, that is it from me today. If you did enjoy this video and you found these mods interesting, then let me know in the comments which mod was your favourite. Or if you have any mods you think I should check out, then again, leave a comment and let me know and I'll try and do my best. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.